Hey, high level users, quick but really impactful video for you guys today. Today, we're going to be talking about the prospecting tool and how you can check out website details as well as company details whenever you're prospecting using high level. It's a super cool tool. So let's get right into it. First, you're going to go to your agency dashboard and then you're going to see prospecting right here. Now, this prospecting tool is really great. If you haven't used it yet, get on it because you can actually look at local business owners and figure out exactly what you can provide to them and see where they're lacking with their online presence and everything digital that you can help solve with high level. So just for an example, let's look at real estate agents near me. All right, go ahead and search it up. And as soon as this happens, what you're going to see is lots of different users come up in your area. You can see a little map and then you can actually scroll through all of these different companies that are local to you that came up on the prospecting tool. And the coolest part about this is what you can see as far as their actual company details and their digital status, if you will. So you'll see a lot of these companies have their Google business profiles or claims. You have the checkbox here. You can see if they're on WordPress and then you can also see a conversion rate here. So just for example, let's do this one because it's the highest conversion rate. When we click this, we'll see their business info. We'll see their phone number, their name, their address. And then we can save them as a prospect. Now, I already have saved this prospect because they look really good. And we're going to go ahead and go into this prospect account. If you don't have a prospect saved already, then it'll take a couple of minutes. It'll generate a marketing audit. And that's what we're going to check out right now. So right here in the account, you just see some basic details. But let's go ahead and look at this marketing audit report because it's really cool. Now, when you check out these, you can see their online health score. All right. Now, these guys aren't terrible. All right. But you can see that they are on four listings and they're missing uh, being listed on 20 other ones. For an example, a good reason why you need to know about this is because you can fix this using something like reselling Yext to somebody. But let's go ahead and go through this. So we can see what they do have, like they do have the Google business profile, they have a text enabled business number, but they're missing things like review replies, they've only replied to 0% of their reviews. So again, that's a place where you can create a product and upsell or create a product just specifically to solve any of these problems. They're missing a chat widget and they're not on WordPress. So their site's going to be a little bit slower. If we dive into this a little bit deeper, we can see things like their SEO where they're performing well here, but around them when they get into a larger radius with people that are searching for them, it's not going to be performing as well. We can see they've got some good reviews. We can check out their listings. Here's a big hole, but you know, and as we go through all this, there's a ton of data that we can check out. We can look at some negative reviews that they've had, a ton of really great information. Uh, you can see all their online listings. Again, something that you can solve with reselling something like Yext. And then we go down to their website performance. So we can look at their web vitals, like their page speed, how interactive their site is, their SEO score, page health, things like that. So these marketing audits are super great. They're ways to make lead magnets to share with prospects and give people a really good reason to respond back to you and figure out, hey, how do we solve some of these problems? If you want to share this, then you can click share report and you'll get a link. These links are already made kind of as like landing pages for the prospects. This, it's such a cool feature that I wish people talked about more. So you share this with somebody. It says at the very top, you know, we have a call to action for your company with an email. So super basic. That's already created. You don't have to do anything for that. And it has all the same information that we just saw. And at the bottom, if they go through it all, it's like a call to action at the end of landing page. So it's super cool. You can share this link with people. And then, of course, you can also download this by clicking export PDF. So that's how you see all the information as far as prospects go. And if you do end up getting on the phone with these people, you send them a Loom video saying, hey, these are the things that seem wrong with your business. Let's get on an appointment. And they end up converting into a client. Then what you can do that's really cool is right here in the prospecting tool, you can click convert to a sub account. It'll immediately make a new sub account, fill in all their information, and you will get right on with signing them on as a paid client. So the prospecting tool is super cool within Go High Level. If you need any more information, check out the help doc. And thanks for watching this video. And I'm looking forward to you seeing a lot of success using the prospecting tool.